morning, my name is James Hughes, Chief Market Analyst here at Scope Markets, and this is your daily briefing. Markets were set for gains on the open in the US and Europe as Asian stocks pushed higher as we entered the last trading day of the month. The upside comes after US firm Gilead Sciences announced that a COVID-19 drug had helped patients with the virus recover faster. Now with drugs, there is always a delay in getting these things passed and any drug has a lot of hurdles to pass before it can become used in the mainstream. However, the positive news surrounding a vaccine has helped push markets higher. There was also positive earnings data from Facebook and Microsoft after the closing bell yesterday that helped to lift sentiment. The result also showed that big tech firms continue to dominate Wall Street with the Nasdaq now trading up on the year. The good news came after US GDP readings had shown the US economy contracting by 4.8% in Q1 of 2020. That'd be the biggest fall in the economy since 2008. At yesterday's FOMC meeting, the Fed Chairman Jerome Powell voiced his obvious concerns about the crisis and its impact on the economy. He called for policymakers to do more to limit the effect of the coronavirus outbreak on the economy and to also pledge to keep rates low until both unemployment and inflation returned to normal levels. The markets are currently being driven by any headlines surrounding treatments or vaccines for the virus. Anything that will bring the moment of release from lockdown closer. Some countries are are starting to ease lockdown rules, but their economic demand remains severely depressed. However, we must always be cautious when talking about the drug trials, as this is a minefield that has many pitfalls. Such is the nature of the drug and the need to help the recovery uh, globally, we could see the process of getting this pushed through expedited. Now, Thursday sees the ECB interest rate decision quick on the foot of the FOMC from Wednesday. We also see the US initial jobless claims, uh, which have become so important over the last few weeks. The ECB are under immense pressure to increase their response to the crisis. Just last week, the ECB President Christine Lagarde told EU leaders that they were risking doing too little too late and the Eurozone economy could fall by around 15%. So far, EU leaders have fumbled their response to the crisis, with political infighting delaying any fiscal response. The ECB will today look to pile more pressure onto leaders, but may also have to act themselves to introduce more in the way of economic stimulus. There have been obvious comparisons between the Fed's action in the US and that of the ECB in Europe. However, the ECB just do not have the firepower as the ECB have have had to fight this crisis after not recovering from other crises that have gone before. US initial jobless claims are expected to show a further 3.5 million Americans lost their jobs last week, which could take the total number from the crisis over 30 million in the last six weeks.